Hello everybody, Aqua Gear here, and welcome back to another episode of Redstone Mini. Today we are really just going to be looking at what I've been up to lately. So, uh, for the past couple hours, well, not hours, but a little bit, I've been just playing around with random doors, tearing them down, rebuilding them, and finding different ways of doing it. So, let's just look at this door that I built right here. So, I just started building this one door. It was just a random door I just started building from scratch, and... I, it's not my final version because it's kind of screwed up, but if you press this button, one side opens. And if you press the other side button, the other side opens. So really, it's not such a cool door just because only one side opens. But I kind of wasn't happy with that, so I kept going and figured out a new way how to do it. And finally, I did come up with a way. So this is the exact same door as that one, but both doors open at the exact same time. You can walk through. Go through the other side, just as just normally. So, unlike that one, this one actually opens both doors. Because the main problem I was running into is... Actually, let me see if I can... Let me see if I can demonstrate it a little bit. Uh, darn it. So, what was happening was... Imagine this is the door right here. Alright, so let me add. So just imagine this is the door, and then... Oh, darn it. <laughs> Alright, let me re let me try to fix this redstone a little bit. So imagine that's a lever for a door, and that's a lever for a door. So both of those connect to the same door. And this is why I messed up on this one, too. Because I tried to fix this one, and it wouldn't work. So what happens is, if this is the door, and I want to get through, well, that's okay. I'm inside. Let's just say I'm inside, and I close it. Alright, no mobs can get in now. And I want to get out, it's all good. But what happens if I go out and close the door, and then I die and maybe respawn inside my house? Well then, because that's already powered from the inside, I can't unpower it. So really, I'm stuck in here. But I, what I tried to do with that one is I, add, I inverted the signal by adding a torch right there. Well, see, that didn't help either, because because I inverted the redstone, it just did the same thing. Now, and then, it, so really, it, even if I got stuck on the other side, it just wouldn't work. It'd still stay closed. And then, I separated the two lines, so I got it where only one door opens. But, then I thought about it for a while, and I actually figured it out. On this one, I have a redstone torch here that inverts the signal, and one here. But then I figured out, I just... See, so there's two torches. For this design, I just put one torch right there. So right here. So this torch goes to both of them. And I put a button so the signal isn't permanent. It's just for a second. So, but one thing I did do is, even on this one, I inverted the signal with the torch so it's always on. But then, if I press either this button or this button, it always turns on like that. So yeah, that's just one thing I played with. I mean, I can go inside and show you the redstone a little bit, but it's really, just really simple redstone. If to you guys it might look big and bulky, and but really it's not that big. I just built a building around it that's a huge box to make it look even, but really, it's just the redstone signal here, and then I can't keep asking, but it's repeat, repeat, yeah, repeater. It's just the, this exact same, same thing on the other side, and then there's just a button here. So really, that's what I was playing around with, just playing around with the doors. And I might actually build this in one of my worlds one day, but... Anyway, and I just want to look at the second thing I've been playing around is... This is more of a trick than a door, because it took like three seconds to build, but I did want to put it on camera since it's practically a door. But, this is a secret door. I mean, to you guys, this might look like a wall, okay? But, if we walk into this person right here, bam, come out the other side, and then we can take our loot of diamonds. <laughs> But anyway, really how this works is, you just put, make a little doorway, put two signs, and put a painting over it. And that it does that effect. I mean, you can't see through it, but if you walk, uh, let's go sideways, you can actually walk through it. So, yep, that's the door right there. But real quick, just to show you guys, so, really, it's just like this. So you have to put the painting right on the side, so you can walk through it. So I think this is a really cool trick. If you want to hide your door, maybe, you could do that. Hide your stuff, like diamonds and gold and lapis or whatever. So, guys, yep, 
this has just been what I've been doing lately. What kind of let me toggle the downfall because it's super annoying as ever. But yep, that's what I've been playing around with. Different kinds of doors and Yep. So guys, thank you for watching. This has been Redstone Mini. Make sure to leave a like and a comment as it supports my channel. And God bless and goodbye.